Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. It is my first Tag Tuesday video and today I decided that I was gonna do the Hamilton book tag created by Maureen Keevy. Now I'm wearing my Supernatural hat and I was like, okay, so I'll wear this and I'll do the video. But before I was wearing that, I was wearing my It's a Hamilton Thing You Wouldn't Understand shirt that I got from my friend Caitlin. Caitlin, if you're watching this, which you won't be, <laughs> thank you again. You know I love it. So I decided to do the Hamilton book tag, um, and yeah, I'm really excited to do it. I have a lot of things I'd like to say, so I hope you guys stick around. And I got my mug o' coffee right here. It's quite large. There's only a little bit in because I don't have a big enough setting on my Keurig to be able to... Okay, so the first question is... The Room Where It Happens, a book world you would put yourself into. I would have to say the Percy Jackson the Olympian series world just because it's so crazy and I love Greek mythology and I love um, Percy Jackson. I just do. I love Camp Half-Blood, I love Chiron, I love Grover, I love every single character in that entire series. So I really think that, that if I had a choice, I would go into the Percy Jackson the Olympian's world because it's... It's a beautiful place. The second question is the Skylar sisters, an underrated female character. Now, I had a lot of trouble with this one because I don't know any underrated female characters um, because I haven't read that many books. <laughs> uh, so I pretty much just went off with one of the most recent books that I've read. So I'm going to say Laia because I haven't seen a lot of talk about Laia from An Ember in the Ashes, and I think that she was one of the greatest characters in the history of female characters. She she overcame everyone telling her that she couldn't do it, and then she ended up doing it, and I think that that's really, really great. Even when the whole world was against her, she still went out and she did what she had to do, you know? So I think it's, I think it's really great to see her overcome all of these negative opinions to to, to go and do something that everyone thought was impossible. Number three is My Shot, a character that goes after what they want and doesn't let anything stop them. For that, and I realize this is going to be like a horrible answer, but I said James Potter. We don't know much about him, <laughs> but I know for a fact that man did not stop until he got what he wanted. I mean, sure, he probably didn't bother Lily as much as everyone thinks that he did. He was raised in a household where his parents were very respectful, even though they were rich, you know? So I don't think he actually did that as much as everyone thinks that he did. But he did go after what he wanted. He became one of the best... Keepers? Keepers. Yeah. I think... He became one of the best Quidditch players that entire year. He he decided that he wanted to become an Animagus so that he could hang out with Remus more. And went and stuck with it and did it. I think that shows great loyalty and I think that shows that he would do whatever it took to get exactly what he wanted. Number four is Burn, the most heartbreaking end to a relationship you've read. Okay, so I couldn't find anything for this. So I just came up with one of the... The only thing that I could really think of, and that was Looking for Alaska by John Green, um, the relationship between Alaska and Pudge, I think really, that was really sad for me because he, he loves her so much, and he still does, even, even when the relationship ends. So yeah, Looking for Alaska by John Green. It's just, it's just really, really sad, and, and it's the most heartbreaking into a relationship that hasn't ended in death, and I didn't really want to go all cliche and say The Fault in Our Stars or anything like that, so that's what I said for that. Number five, I'm pretty sure, is You'll Be Back, a Sassiest Villain, and for that, it I, I did not come up with a good answer. I said Baz from Carry On, and while I realize that he is not technically a villain, he actually isn't. Like, he's extremely gay and, and, and the nicest person ever. He was a villain, and that's what I'm going with, because I don't know any other, like, sassy villains. So I pretty- I just put down Baz, because I couldn't think of anything else. Number six is the Reynolds pamphlet, a book with a twist that you didn't see coming. And for that, I put down the Mortal Instruments City of Bones, because I 
hadn't heard anything about the series, didn't know at all what it was about, and all of a sudden, they just slammed it in my face that Jason and Clary were brother and sister. That freaked me out. Like, that was the biggest twist that I had ever read, and it still kind of counts as that, because it's a twist. So, that's my answer for that. I don't know if that's a very good answer, but it's my answer. And number seven is Nonstop, a series you marathoned. And now, I have not actually marathoned any series yet, but I want to, and I was going to over Christmas break, and then I just got super busy and didn't make it to the library. But I really, really, really want to binge read the Raven Cycle series, because I read the first one in the series, which is The Raven Boys, and um, I liked it. I just... I, I took a really, really, really long break in between reading it, so I didn't really catch on to the plot very well, so I want to reread that one and then go through the entire series in like a week. And I think I'm planning on doing that this summer just because I won't have much to do this summer. So stay tuned for that. And number eight is Satisfied. Favorite book with multiple POV. I put Carry On again because I loved that book and I loved the multiple point of views, um, and it's one of my favorite ones that I, that I can remember distinctly that has multiple points of view. So that is my answer for that one. Uh, number nine, right? I think it's nine. I have no idea. I'm, I, there are no numbers, but okay, whatever number it is. Who lives, who dies, who tells your story, a book slash series you feel like will be remembered throughout history. Now, the most obvious answer would be Harry Potter. But I don't want to go for obvious, because that's boring. So, I decided to pick the Lord of the Rings series, because it has already been around for a very, very, very long time. And that, those movies, with The Hobbit just coming out, everyone else, everyone was picking up the Lord of the Rings again, because The Hobbit is the, the first book, sort of, or the prequel, I don't remember which one came first. The Hobbit, and then the Lord of the Rings series. So I really, really, really think that that series is going to stay around forever, because they'll probably remake the movies, they'll remake the remakes of the movies, like, they'll do everything with those movies, because they are such good, it's quality, and you can do anything with it, and I think that's wonderful. I really feel like those will be around forever. Ever. Like, they're, they will never leave. And the last question is, stay alive, a char character you wish was still alive. Now, for that question, this might be a spoiler if you haven't read the last book in the Harry Potter series, but if you haven't read Harry Potter, you, you can't avoid spoilers, so I'm just gonna say this really quickly. Remus John Lupin. I am still upset that he had to die. I am so angry. I am very angry. Very angry. And I wish that he could still be alive because I loved him. I loved him so, so much. Him and Tonks were just having, just had a baby and now he will grow up without a family. I mean, he'll have Andromeda and he'll have Harry, but it's not the same. It's not the same. I'm still mad. I'm sorry. I'm gonna start yelling pretty soon, so we're just gonna move on. Um, so... Yes, that was the Hamilton book tag. If you enjoyed, please uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, you guys let me know in the comments what you guys want for the next Tag Tuesday. I was thinking either Supernatural or Sherlock, so if you have any opinions on that, let me know. And I hope that you guys have a great rest of the day. Subscribe if you want to see any more videos. Keep on reading. Bye!